There's lots of medications now available that are proven effective in not just making the number on the DEXA report look better, but in decreasing the risk of fractures. The original medicine was called Fosamax, which has been out so long now that it's available generically, so it's very inexpensive. You just take one per week, and you have to take it with a big glass of water now because it'll, it'll eat a hole in the stomach if you don't. You want to flush it, tsunami it through the stomach, but it's just once a week, and it works very well and it's very inexpensive. There are two other medicines that are very similar to that called Actinel and Boniva that work virtually identically the same way, but they're still branded, so they're more expensive. And I don't know of any advantages to either of those to the uh, generic Alendronate. What do those medicines do? Actinil, you said, Fosamax, you said, what do those medicines do to put calcium on the bones? How do they work? Well, they work by blocking the action of a particular type of cell called osteoclast that are responsible for chewing up bone, for dissolving bone. And in essence, they kind of poison those cells, and those cells don't dissolve as much bone, but the bone formation cells keep making bone, and so you end up with progressively more bone. So as I remember, we've got blasts that make bone mm -hmm. and clasts that take away the bone. So Dig a hole, fill it up, just so like being in the of, army. If you get rid of the clasts, then you're gonna make more bone, is right. it? and that's how those work. Um, are there newer kinds of medicines uh, other than Fosamax Actinel? Well, there are a bunch of newer medicines that can be used. They're all branded, so they're more expensive, but they have some particular advantages. One of the problems with the, the Fosamax Actinel Boniva medications is that some people just can't tolerate them because they make them so sick at their stomach, even when they take them right with the big glass of water. So there's a medicine that you can give intravenously by just an IV infusion. You can give it once a year. And once it a works year. fabulously, it blocks both the hip and it reduces both hip and spine fractures tremendously. And it's only once a year and it's very well tolerated. So do they keep the class from working and let the blast put the calcium? So you still, have to time. you still have to take calcium with it. Oh yeah, you can't make bone without calcium. So you it's take your simple. calcium, your vitamin D, and you take a medicine that helps put the calcium back on the bones. And you talk it over with your doctor about the kind of medicine that's best for you. Mm -hmm. um, what do you like to use the best in your practice? Well, again, for I see a lot of people in a referral practice yes. that are sent to me because they can't tolerate the more common medicines that any good primary care physician could use as well as I do. Uh, the reclass, the once a year IV uh, medicine is excellent and I use a lot of that. There is another medicine that's just been out now for a year or so called Prolia or Denosumab, which is a new class of medicines completely. It is given by a, and just a shot, an injection, not even in the vein, every six months. So it's real easy and looks to be very effective based on the, you know, the relatively short-term data that we have on it. 